hello everyone when i turn on my laptop i suddenly got this issue no bootable device found so if you are facing the same issue on the dell laptop or the any other laptop so i am using here the dell laptop so i will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue no bootable device found so it is saying that no bootable device found means the hard drive or ssd is not detecting on your system so how to troubleshoot this issue guys you need to press F2 here in order to go to system utilities okay so press here F2 this is F2 and once I press F2 here I landed it on the BIOS options so once you go to the BIOS options you need to go to the boot sequence here and inside the boot sequence make sure the windows boot and the hard drive is selected here okay if it is not selected tick all the options here like this and as you can see here kingston drive is showing up here okay and if it is not showing up here you can change its priority to one in my case if it is not showing here you need to change its from legacy if it is selected uefi make sure you select the legacy options here so let me try to apply that this option and let me try out this and see if that fix the issue or not so see guys my window has been load and issue has been fixed now if your issue is fixed then well and good if not let's move on to the next method again you need to press F2 or the F12 key on the Dell laptop so this is the method to go into the BIOS when the system boots continuously press F2 now once again you are on this page make sure date and time is correct here if date and time is not correct here you may get different kind of errors related to the not bootable device found or other so make sure date and time is correct here again you need to go to the boot sequence okay and if you have selected here legacy options here okay if you have select legacy options here you need to disable the secure boot here since the legacy support doesn't support the secure boot so make sure you disable that and hit apply and let me show you the next option will be highlighted here legacy select the legacy change the boot priority and then click on apply if nothing works for you guys uh, you can click on this option load defaults so this will default load default settings whatever setting is suitable for your windows and click on exit and once you set it to defaults it should fix the issue if uh, the previous two steps are not working for you so this will fix your issue now if this option and this step also doesn't help you so we will move on to the next method step number four in this case guys if hard drive or ssd is not showing on your bios we need to run the hardware diagnostic test here so that we can identify if we have to replace the hard drive or ssd or if anything bad or damaged with our hard drive so again if you are on the same screen guys this time we are going to run the hardware diagnostic test that is called the onboard diagnostic as well so you need to press f5 here this is the f5 and once you press f5 here as you can see all the test motherboard test hardware test ram test is going to perform here you can see the list here so once all the tests are passed here it means that you don't have any hardware issue in your laptop especially look for the hard drive okay ssd results so let it run and then i will show you once the test is 
pass so as you can see here you need to make sure that the hard drive test is passed here click on yes you want to run it so now the result is passed you can see here no problem have been found it took almost 10 minutes and click on yes so you need to make sure that all the result are passed here guys and once all the result are passed here including the hard drive you need to go to the bootable pen drive make a bootable pen drive and reinstall the fresh window on your system if the hard drive is showing here result pass and if still the window is not loading you need to format your system and one another setting you can look for this option here go to the system configuration click on SATA operation and select here red on or AHCI if the red on is selected here look for the AHCI and check back if that fix your issue or not so these are the possibilities to troubleshoot this issue guys so i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching